right now we've completed the entire page and all of the code is in app.csx and one thing that you may be wondering is uh yeah it's not good practice to put all of your code into a single file you may want to split the code into separate components and then render these components in app this is what we're going to do so let's just collapse this so we see the structure of this page so um this is the site bar or the site panel and this right here is the top section this is the middle section of the main panel and this last box is the bottom section of the main panel so what we're going to do is to create new files for each of these components so for my sidebar or side panel i'm just going to copy the box here and all the code within it and create a new file called sidebar.tsx yeah right here i'll create a component called sidebar just going to return what i copied which is the box and of course import all of this at the top Going to up and just add in all of this. We'll take them out. Now we've imported all the values we need at the top of our file. And you see that it's throwing an error because we also need to go into app to get our sidebar visible and toggle sidebar values and functions. So let's go in to grab this. So we grab this. Put this in, of course, I import to use states. I grab this function as well. Yeah. So our sidebar is happy, no errors. So what we can do is to go into app the TSX and just take out this and replace it with sidebar, which we just created. Perfect. The next thing to do is to take out this flex that represents our top section on the main panel. So I copy my flex and I just create a new file called top section. Yeah, and as usual, I'll create a component here. And just return all I have copied. Go back into app. Grab all of these imports at the top here. Going to top section and at the top of my file, I import, I put them in, take out any unused imports. So one thing you can instantly see is, is that it's throwing an error because the sidebar visible and toggle sidebar functions are needed in this top section component as well. So this tells us that you know, sidebar and top section need to share these values. To share sidebar visible and toggle sidebar between these two components, between sidebar components and top section components, you know, they are in two different files. So this tells us that we're going to use a React context. So when we use React context, both components can have access to the state and the function. So let's set up a context for this. So we create a new file here and we're just going to call it sidebar context sidebar context at the top of this file the first thing we need to do is to import a couple of hooks from react so we're going to be importing the create context hook which will help us to create a context use context hook as well as the use state hook import it from react now we'll create a sidebar context so i'm just going to call it sidebar context and we're going to use the create context hook that we imported at the top of our file and let's define the sidebar context type right here so i'm just going to say interface sidebar context type so we know that we need two values right we need a sidebar visible which is the state and sidebar visible sidebar visible this is a boolean remember it was toggling true or false and then we also need the toggle sidebar function that we created and this is just going to be a void function perfect so now let's just add in our sidebar context type 
when we create a context, we also need to create a provider. So we're going to create a sidebar provider that will provide the context values to any child components. So let's set up a sidebar provider. Sidebar provider. It's going to return sidebar context dot provider. So we paste in the values that we need, and this is the state for our sidebar visible and the function that toggles the sidebar. We also need to define our props. So let's define the props for sidebar provider. This would be, you know, children. Children will be React nodes. Sidebar context the provider takes a value prop, and the value prop is really the values that we want to be accessible to both the sidebar and the top section and these values are the sidebar visible values and the toggle sidebar function so let's add them in sidebar visible and toggle sidebar within it we're also gonna get the children like so so this way we've been able to set up a sidebar provider for our context the last thing to do here is to make our context accessible to every other component that we need. So we're going to create a use sidebar context hook. So underneath here, I'm just going to create a use sidebar context hook. I'm going to use context and return this, the sidebar context. Perfect. So now we can simply call the use sidebar context in any components to get access to both the sidebar visible and the toggle sidebar. So we go back to app.csx. We take all of this out. And we're going to wrap the entire app with our sidebar provider that we set up earlier. So I'm importing sidebar provider. And this helps any components within it to have access to the context that we created. Let's go back to our top section. Now we're going to be using context to get access to the sidebar and the toggle sidebar functions. At the top here, I'm going to grab sidebar visible and the toggle sidebar. I'm going to grab it using the use sidebar context that we created. So notice no errors are throwing anymore because we are using context and this is so sleek. Let's go back to sidebar and use the same context. So we take all of this out and literally what we did earlier in top section, we'll do the same. Sidebar visible, toggle sidebar, and grab all of this from use sidebar context. Now we can take out use state because we're using context. We'll go back to app.csx and we take this flex out and instead render our top section. Yeah, so let's check our UI to be sure that nothing has broken. Yeah, this is exactly what we want. We'll continue this, we we'll take center out, we we'll cut it out here and create a new file called middle section dot tsx literally repeats the same thing create a new component called middle section and return what we put and of course grab all the inputs at the top here add them here take out what's not used and we also grab the state for our input we grab this too it's fine to leave them because no other component is using the states they are only situated in the middle section for our input so it's fine to have them like this we don't need to set up a context and let me see i think the prompt button as well which is right here i can add this in its own file but i'm just going to leave them in the middle section at the top as well. All right, and the final bit is the bottom section. So going back into app, take all this state out, it's not useful. Add in the center or the middle section that I just created. 
and we take out this, this will be the bottom section. Create a new file called bottom section.csx. Paste this in and just import box and center. Going back into up, I render my bottom section. Awesome, awesome. Now I can remove all the unused imports in app. Check all my files and I think everything looks great. See how our page looks really good. This way, we've been able to split out app into separate components, the sidebar components, top section, middle section, and the bottom section. And doing it this way, you can easily go into the particular component file to make tweaks and just render them into app. So with this, we've come to the end of this tutorial. I hope it's been everything you wanted and you've learned a thing or two from this tutorial. I'll see you in the next one.